College football, we're going to cram a lot in here. Pitt won a game, but they had an opt-out with Paris Ford. So, Jeff Athorn, start with you on this one. Uh, Penn State's 0-3. Will they have opt-outs? And your thoughts on Clemson, Notre Dame, and Trevor Lawrence. Not going to play, yet he was on the field. Why? You know, I, I'm a romantic when it comes to college football. You know, playing for your team, playing for the alumni, playing for the fans. Well, the fans can't come to games. The Penn State Nittany Lions are 0-3 after getting boat raced at home by Maryland. Mm -hmm. Now, Penn State faced two teams, probably the two most improved teams in the Big Ten, but still, you're 0-3. If I'm Pat Fryermuth or if I'm even Lamont Wade, man, I'm out. I, I'm not going to waste my potential career by a knee injury or something happening. I'm opting out. I was in it. No, the team isn't in it anymore. And Trevor Lawrence being on the field was as crazy as the Notre Dame fans being on the field. <laughs> if he's got COVID, what's he doing around his team? I mean, that's, that's lunacy. If he's on the field, able to travel, he should be in the game playing. I didn't get that one either. Um, I, I just didn't understand that one at all. As for Penn State, they're 0-3. I don't know if you're going to see any opt-outs right now. And, you know, this is a free year for these guys. Why would they opt out? They can always come back next year and play, even if they do get injured or if something happens. Um, you know, especially for a guy like Lamont Wade, where is he going to get drafted? You know, he might not get drafted. Uh, and he could definitely improve his stock if he plays out the rest of this year and maybe next year. You know, I don't think this is a Penn State issue. I think this is going to be a college football issue more and more you get into November and December. Do you really want to stay on and play in the pool and weed eater bowl or something like that? Heck no, you don't want to. Opt out and, you know, players do that all the time now to get ready for the combine well there might opt not be a out combine if you know you're going to get drafted mark i mean you're not going to opt out you don't out know anything right now Fryermuth's the first rounder well if yeah. it's the first Fine. rounder it's a different story but lamont wade what's he going to be fourth fifth sixth maybe if we're lucky right well i don't I know mean, maybe what, we don't know he could he could move up those but it just all depends it's been a weird year of scouting people don't know what's going to happen but they do have a free year uh, I expect to see some of that, but I don't think you'll see a lot of it. Although, if you're a first-round pedigree, I think you have every reason to do it if you want to do it. On that note, we'll take a break. Come back with more. It's the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown on KDKA.